Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, one of the things about South Louisiana is that we love to eat and we love it even more when we get to do it for a good cause. Here to tell us about one of those, it's the Taste of the South, is Brian Edwards of the Louisiana Restaurant Association. Welcome to the show, Brian. Well, thanks for having me. Glad to see you again. Obviously, this already sounds like something that's right up my alley. I mean, I, I love to eat and if it helps people out so much, the better. But tell the folks a little bit about LRA, what you do and, and about this great event you're having. Well, LRA is really an advocate for the restaurants uh, in Louisiana and specifically my uh, my organization, Baton Rouge, because I'm with the Greater Baton Rouge chapter of it. You bet. Um, so we advocate for the restaurants in Louisiana to help them uh, be better in their businesses, but also more importantly, we're actually raising money for the ProStart program for the Education Foundation. Uh, so the kids coming up through the high school ranks will actually choose the service industry as a primary choice. Uh, the up and coming superstar chefs of the world. Uh, we've actually had some, some young ones who have great, uh, great success stories going on and winning, winning competitions all over the country uh, from Louisiana and from Baton Rouge specifically. Uh, so that's really our passion. Well, and obviously, I mean, it's a great way to, you know, instill a good work ethic and, and a good career path for kids. I mean, that's something we need today. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I definitely came up through the ranks uh, starting from a busboy uh, to where I am today, and they instilled a great work ethic into me to always uh, give my best at all times. It's a great way for the industry to give back. I mean, obviously, really, it's just a win-win for everyone. And, and you have an exciting event coming up that's going to enable you to keep doing that great work. Give me the scoop on Taste of the South. Absolutely. Taste of the South uh, actually started a couple of years ago as a brainchild for some of, the, some of us on the board. Um, we, it sort of morphed into this wonderful event. Uh, as It's a four-course demo-style cooking class. Uh, some, some amazing chefs from all over uh, Louisiana and the South uh, are going to come in and they're going to do a cooking class in front of you. So it's going to be videoed uh, on large screens. Uh, you can sit close to the chefs if you'd like, and they'll tell you exactly how they make the dish, a little bit of history behind it, why they do it, a little bit of history of themselves, uh, where they come from, a little bit of their story. Some really amazing stories come out of this and some, a lot of fun is had. It's all paired with wine. Uh, it's going to be at La Bear's Casino, so you can stay there if you'd like. Uh, which I plan on staying there because <laughs> if I've had four courses with wine, I'm not driving anywhere. You bet. Uh, so it, it's really an amazing event. We do a silent auction before with some incredible prizes. And during the event, we're doing a live auction. Uh, I might be somewhat biased about this particular item, but my favorite live auction item that we have right now, uh, you get a private tour of Todd Graves' treehouse. Wow. Uh, and you actually will have dinner in the treehouse <laughs> with Glenn Big Baby Davis. Wow. Uh, so it is a very unique item. You can't just go out and buy this somewhere. You have to be at this event to have the opportunity to win it, and it's going to go uh, pretty fast. You know, this is really an opportunity. I mean, I'm the kind of person that, you know, watches Food Network all day and loves to see that stuff being prepared. But this is an opportunity for people right here in the area to really experience, I mean, their favorites, right? The, oh, the, yeah. the local chefs around here. We're blessed to have plenty of them, uh, very talented ones for sure. And it's a, you know, a chance for people to come out and maybe see someone from their favorite restaurant do the thing they do. Absolutely. We have actually um, Cody Carroll with Sacolet and his wife, Samantha, just got back from cooking at the uh, James Beard House. That's right. Um, if any of you are foodies out there, you understand exactly what that means. Uh, so if you don't, check it out. It's amazing. But they just got back from, uh, from cooking there, and they're going to be uh, having a dish at this event. Uh, they're phenomenal people. Uh, they've won the uh, seafood cook-off in New Orleans a couple of times, actually. And the uh, crawfish king here. And the crawfish king here. He's, yep. uh, I mean, really a young guy who's making a huge name for himself. Well, I know you're making a huge impact. Over $200,000 in scholarships have been awarded, mm -hmm. another seventy coming this year. Tell the folks where they can go to find out more information to get the scoop on Taste of the South. You can go to our base website, LRA.org, or you can go to Eventbrite and get tickets there. Uh, so just search for Taste of the South on Eventbrite or uh, send, send us an email. Uh, go through LRA.org, send us an email, we'll send you all the information. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming on and telling well, us all that. Thanks for having me. Sure thing. Well, our colleagues here at Cox Business are in the business of providing solutions for you. Take a look. Well, Volunteers of America is one of the largest nonprofits in Baton Rouge. Here at our division, we've been empowering and supporting individuals with disabilities since the early 70s. We support over a thousand people and receive about 400 phone calls a day. Communication for us is vital. We lead the industry in safe and comfortable onshore and offshore 
living accommodations. We started with about 12 employees and have grown to almost 100 now. We're expanding almost daily, I feel like, uh, in our business and with our employees. We're not office-based. A lot of our nurses work where they live so they can have access to patients sooner. So it's very important for us to be able to stay in touch as an agency uh, with what's going on with these patients on a not only day-to-day -day basis, but maybe minute by minute. The staff is very helpful, they're local, and so response time to any problems or issues that come up are quick. They've accommodated us from day one. They've been out here when we've called. They were basically just customizing the system to what we needed. They were very eager to help. They sent a trainer out here that met with us and all the staff that works on the phones and they gave us some very in-depth training on how we can best utilize the phone capabilities. It's, it's just been a great experience. Uh, we, we wouldn't go with any other phone system. Reach out to the good folks at Cox Business to do great things for your business. Coming up next on Across Louisiana, it's time to pull a plane. Don't miss it.